Ik kan volle Portugees, nee, fan. Psych. What did you just say? I speak, I speak Portuguese. Nee, no, what did you just say? Of falo Portugues, nee, fan. I speak of what? Of falo Portugues. Mas você é tão sexy. Olha os teus tatuagens. Guess what I said there? <laughs> it's no A. <laughs> it's proper no A, it is. Well, hang on, no, we just can't pause what's that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You're well sexy, Nathan, and your tattoos are just... Mm. Welcome to Swipe Your Sign. A brand new queer dating podcast on BBC Sounds. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm 30-something years old. I'm from Darlington. You guys may know me from every single reality TV show under the sun, and I identify as fluid. Dating me is like having the worst headache of your life, but then taking medication that knocks you out. Like, it's painful, but when the medicine kicks in, oh, that sweet goodness. My name is Ro, I'm 32 years old. I identify as a lesbian, and my pronouns are she, they. I live in East London, Hackney, and I'm a podcaster. I know I found the one. Actually, I don't know because I don't have. I'm single, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Where could we put in our dating lives into the hands of astrology? You'll be hearing us on a series of blind dates with different star signs. Will we swipe left or will we swipe right? You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Mm -hmm. And helping us along the way, we have Celestial Tree, who's an astrology expert. Hi, Hi. Celestia. Hi, guys. So, when we send Ro and Nathan on a date, they'll be served a free course meal of conversation starters. So the starters are going to be get to know you questions. The mains are going to be juicy dilemmas and the desserts are going to be some cheeky dares. I hope they enjoy. Okay, so let's spice things up a little bit and talk about your fetishes. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> very, very spicy topic. Yeah. I'm about so... to be embarrassed. <laughs> well, I have a foot fetish. I just put that out there. Yeah. So do I. That's what I was going to Oh my say. God. Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think a lot of people have a foot fetish more than they allow. They, yeah. they allow themselves to be open to it. But do you not think like right, there's a stigma mm -hmm. about it? A little there bit. Is, there so is. Like, I always feel like when someone goes, "What's your fetish?" I always go, "A foot fetish," and I'll, I'll like sit dead quietly because yeah. I'm scared in case someone goes, mm. "Eh, that's weird." Yeah. Do you feel like? that sort of topic is going to come up in any of your dates today. If we have like a flirty banter, mm. possibly. Yeah, I think it's important yeah. to ask people what their boundaries are and where their fetish is a lie. So on that note, Nathan, would you like to find out what star sign you're dating today? Yes, please. So today you are going to be going on a date with an Aquarius. OK. Generally speaking, Aquarians usually will match well with people that have an active social life, which you do. Yeah. Today I'm in the mood to like flirt. Like I'm like, I'm in my thing. Like I'm feeling sexy. I like, I want something to bounce off. A bit, let me gauge the, huh? Let's see it. This is an interesting one. I, oh, let me just. Blue flame. Isn't that the hottest part of the fire? Just based on the energy of this card, I really do feel like there will be. An attraction. Yes, and maybe some sparks. And I'm thinking of the term um, integration. What you take from the date, mm -hmm. you might sort of, you might sort of learn something about yourself okay. on this date, and you might post date sort of integrate that lesson into who you are. You'll sort of remember the date. It will be like a memorable date where you'll be like, oh yeah, like. So this could, could, this has got more potential so far. Then. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, Celestial, so it's my turn. I'm going on a date now. Who you got for me? Today, you are going to be dating a Scorpio. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> a Scorpio? I know why you're making ah! that face, but don't make that face. It's fine. They are very alluring. Mm -hmm. They're very mysterious. They're very intriguing. Yeah. If we base this on sort of like your sun sign being a Libra, mm -hmm. Scorpio would appreciate the attentiveness. And then on the other hand, there also might be some really strong sexual chemistry, sexual flirtation, because Scorpio is a very sexual sign as well. This could be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Death and sex. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so while I shuffle for the cards, tell me, are you excited? How are you feeling? I'm looking forward to this one because I'm looking forward to unleashing the flirts in me. Oh, is that a card? What, 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 what? This is my favourite card. Oh, <laughs> this is my favourite card. This is my wife. This is my wife. I'm going to show you this <laughs> card. 
Just look at that. It's the Surrender to the Sweetness card. I wonder what's sweet about them. You can see here it says Venus energy, pleasure, joy, making love to life. Being in that sort of like, that lovely Venusian energy of just like, you know what I mean? Like I'm relaxing, I'm having a great time. I just want to say in this card as a woman, she looks like, was that a cape? Could be a wedding, it could be a dress. wedding dress. Uh, oh, you need to calm <laughs> down. You need to calm down. Calm down. No, calm down. I, I, calm, I stop. Really back. Stop. <laughs> that could be a wedding dress. It, I mean, it is a white dress. For the date, this is the, one of the best cards that you could get for a right. date. Like, I, okay. whenever I get this card, I'm just like, it's time to chill. It's time to enjoy life. So I'm so excited for you. So, Ro, are you ready to have your date? I am so ready. I'm nervous, though, because this is, I feel like this is like, it's not pressure. Oh. Baby. Uh, it's a lot to look forward to. It's a surrender to the sweetness. I'm surrendering. There you go. Let go of that pressure. To the sweet. I wonder what is sweet about them. Anyway, yeah, let's go for it. You'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's meet Rose's potential future wife. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Beryl Botchway. I'm 24. I live in Birmingham. I identify as very much a homosexual. <laughs> Let's make sure we're on the same page about cats. If you don't like my cat, you can get the heck out. Beryl. You look nice. I always look nice. You do. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? You look good. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you. It's good to see you again. Too. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over a month ago, I went to DLT Malta and I bumped into Rose. And you know, there was just a good vibe going, the sun was shining, everybody was having a good time. Just a lot of lips in, lips in the club. Mm. So my name's Martin, I'm 25, I'm from South East London, Greenwich, and I identify as a gay male, pronouns he and him. The way to win me over is to buy me a porn star martini or a Prosecco. <laughs> and I'm all yours, baby. <laughs> Hello, you're Hello. right. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Great, thank you. Nice yep, to meet you. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jita. You look nice. nice you smell fine. Thank you very much. Where are you, are you from Essex? No, I'm not from Essex, I'm from Greenwich, but I've got a bit of a twang, a cockney twang. Do I sound very northern to you? Yeah, then? very northern, very, like. <laughs> <laughs> you're a gangster, I love it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, 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 just a bit, you know, yeah. just a tad. This is for you. This thank is you. Oh, thank you. So I'm going to be serving you up some free course meals today. Mm -hmm. To start off, we've got some getting to know questions. Got for your you. mains, you can have some dilemmas. And then for your desserts, you're going to have some dares. Got you. So mm -hmm. please enjoy thank this. Thank you. Let's do this first. All right. You've got to look me in your eye. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this one because I'm looking forward to unleashing the flirts in me. OK, you go first. OK. Okay, have you ever done any role play in the bedroom? And if so, what went down? So role play is one of my things. Oh, really? Because I do like some role play. Okay, so what's like your main, like what's your favorite character? So I don't think I've got a favorite character. Okay, I like, cool. I think I like to just try different things. Uh -huh. Hi. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? I'm not too bad, what's your name? My name's Stacey. Stacey? Yeah. That's a lovely name. Thank you. Very beautiful today. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Rohan. Rohan. Yeah. That's very exotic. Yeah? You like, you like that? I like that. Cheers to that. <laughs> you wanna come home with me? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Would you rather kiss your ex or your mortal enemy. I would definitely not kiss my ex, so it's an absolute prick. Do you, have, so. do you have a mortal enemy? No, I don't even have a mortal enemy as well, so. But then I kind of think it would be quite hard to kiss someone that really don't like. Really? Yeah. That's quite think? toxic, Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Are you toxic? <laughs> I'm working on that. <laughs> oh my God. So, what is your guilty pleasures in sex? <laughs> Go on. I don't know, it's like... Uh, this is a safe space. Just when the guy is like very dominant. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I like that. Well, yeah, I've been celibate for eight months now, so... Have you? Yeah. How uh, come? Mm -hmm. And obviously I keep going for bad boys, roadman and whatnot. It's not even... A, I'm not getting what I need from these guys. Did that life well, I can, I, I can. You can look at me, I'm not a roadman. You no, no, you're right. <laughs> you're safe. You're not, you're not dangerous. Hi. Nice way, Hi, Rohan. Nice <laughs> <laughs> um, these are your mains, darlings. Oh, yummy. So I'm glad the starters went down well. They did. Mm -hmm. Here we have some gorgeous dilemmas. 
So you see, I'm gonna let you yeah. okay. take the lead. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl with gorgeous elements. Okay. After dating for a couple of weeks, you make plans for your partner to meet your best friend. Afterwards, your friend pulls you to one side and explains that they don't like your partner at all. Okay. At all. Yeah. What do you do? Well, I'm dating them. Uh-huh. And not my bestie. Uh-huh. So I think that if I feel like I know them more than what my dead bestie does. But they might be picking up an energy that I haven't picked up on. Correct. Because I might have some sort of goggles. You know, goggles. Yeah. On. I feel like I have goggles of you, I mean. Um <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Um, yeah, no, I feel like similar situation. I'm very headstrong. Like, literally, I want what I want. Yeah, so do you know that day? Uh huh. That we kissed that day. Mm -hmm. Your <laughs> friend. Yeah. Thought I didn't even good impression on your friend. No. On your best friend. On my best friend. So this is friend. basically the same. This thing. is the same. Literally, she was like, I don't really like her. I said, Ah. Why? So why did you continue, even though she didn't like me? Like I said before, I, I want what I want. So. <laughs> right. Your sex life is bad. You just don't seem compatible in bed at all. No matter how many times you've tried, would you end the relationship? Yes, I would. <laughs> if it's not compatible in bed, then, then what's the point? Would you not think there's things you could do to change it all? As in how, like, change it? Introduce sex toys, I don't know, maybe to open your relationship. Mm -hmm. I think I find talking about sex quite sexy. Yeah. Like, so, like, when you're talking to someone, you're telling them, like, this is what I like, mm -hmm. that turns me on a little bit. Got you, yeah, yeah. Why did you just lick your lips when I said that? I don't know, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just like licking my lips. Because <laughs> I like that. So that just made me nervous. I just like licking my lips. That's what I did, just lick, lick my lips, didn't it? This year, I really want to like, live my hot boy summer because I'm quite, I'm known as quite frigid and I kind of want to like, explore different avenues. Period. <laughs> You survived the uh, dilemmas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, this is your... Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm kind of awkward, I'm not even on this date, but um, <laughs> I'm going to leave. <laughs> I feel nervous. Um, these are your days. <laughs> OK. Do them what you will. Uh-huh. Bye. OK. Open your voice memos and play the most recent one. You ready? I'm really scared what this is going to be. So am I. This is Malta. OK, are you ready? <laughs> oh, I was doing interviews. Oh, Hi guys, this is Meryl and you're with The Floor Magazine. Go on, play yours. Okay, going to do my voice memo. <laughs> I, it's from 14th of August 2022. Okay. And I don't know what this could be. Hi, how are you? Yeah. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So is this your first Black Pride? You know it's not my first, oh. first. I know. So what were you doing here today? Today the... Um, you... I think I'm going to stop it there. I was going on BBC One Extra. Nice. To talk about Black Pride. Oh, nice. So I went around to interview a few people. Same. Common things in common. I keep saying this. Things but in common. You're trying to fight me, but I feel like we're getting along a little bit. Especially Scorpios. Because we butt heads, and I'm very stubborn. Obviously, we kissed in Malta. Mm-hmm. And then I guess I spoke about my experiences in Malta. No, 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 no. We kissed in Malta. We hung out in Malta. We hung out in Malta. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. I recorded my podcast, mm -hmm. which is like a Malta breakdown. Uh huh. And I said, you said that you were too young for me. Yeah. You said, and I quote. 27 and up, 27 and up, 27 and up. So there's always going to be that age difference. You're either going to deal with it or you're going to put up and shut up, like literally. You know, sometimes let go of your inhibitions and just have a good time. Like, life's too short for you to care. You shouldn't care. You should just do whatever feels right. Are you ready for this? Go on. Call a close friend and get them to tell you your three worst qualities. No way, that is so weird. I'm gonna call one of my like close friends who's by the name of Alistair. <laughs> Alistair Vibes, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Vibes. Hi, my name's Nathan. Hello, hello. Right, so I want you to describe your friend, but you've got to tell me their three worst qualities. <laughs> um, he overthinks. Okay, I don't think that's a bad quality. He can stay attached to some people who, you know, he tolerates too much. Okay. But, um, he just has, that means he just has a big heart, but... That's a good thing. To, Your friend loves you. And then his, yeah, his other quality is building stronger boundaries. Okay. But yeah, I'll say they're my three for him. Alistair, bye bye. 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 Love you. Mwah, mwah. I'm going to ring my dad. <coughs> Hi, Pops. Hey. Hello. Right, name my worst three qualities. You're a dick. <laughs> right? I'm 
this one. You're a tight bastard. Yeah. <laughs> you love your f***ing self. That's not a bad thing. Well, thanks for that, Dad. Um, right, I'll call you. I'll call you back after the podcast. <laughs> Love you. Your go back was... to the go back to the thing. My dad saying I'm tight. Yeah. yeah Listen, that was, was one time my dad asked me for five pound. I was like, I don't have five pound on me. I'll carry <laughs> cash. I'm cashless. What What is your heritage? So I'm originally actually Angolan, so I speak Portuguese. I follow Portuguese, Nathan. Psych. <laughs> what did you just say? I speak I speak Portuguese. Nathan. Yeah, well, no, what did you just say? I follow Portuguese, Nathan. I follow of what? I follow Portuguese. Você é tão sexy, eu não tô tatuagem. Guess what I said there? <laughs> it's no A. <laughs> it's proper no A, it is. Oh my God, no, we just can't pause, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You're well sexy, Nathan, and your tattoos are just... Mm. I mean, that's not proper no A. That is, well, well, I think we define naughty as two different things. Oh, OK. So do you want me to get a bit naughty? Go on, then. I'm going to fazer sexo com você, Nathan. Nathan, I'm going to fazer sexo com você. Oh, wait, calm down. That's a bit aggressive. No. Do you want, just guess, just guess. You want to have sex with me? Oh, OK. Fuck, well, yeah, you understood that. Um, is that naughty? Nah. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> not, not, not your level of naughty, right? That's all right, though. I'm, I'm, I'm quite a, like a reserved girl, do you know what I mean? Are you? Yeah, I'm quite reserved. I'm a bit of a freak, though, you know. <laughs> they get the bill? <laughs> I'm a gentlewoman, so I'm gonna get this. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. I had a really good day. I had a great time, you know. Always nice to see you, Ro. Thanks for coming. I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the date was like a solid eight and a half, maybe push a nine. I feel like, you know, there's always room for improvement, but we have a lot of um, flirty banter anyway, so it was a good day, yeah. I would swipe right on Ro. Thank you for coming today. It's fine. Have you enjoyed yourself? Of course I have, have you? I have. So the date went really, really well. I know he definitely found me funny because he was like cracking up a lot. <laughs> you're very, you're actually a gentleman, aren't you? Of course I am. I was raised a gentleman, babe, do you know what I mean? For that itself, I will get the bill. Well, can we get the bill, please? I would definitely rate the date like a nine out of 10, a good solid nine out of 10. I didn't go on much dates and that was that was a good one. I would definitely swipe right. Even though he's a bit toxic, there's something about him, he's really, there's something about him that I like. So I would swipe right. <laughs> I had a good time. I really enjoyed my date. She's gone in, I'm gone in. Mm -hmm. We, I think we have quite a lot in common. It's given qualities I like. She did also have a little bit of advice for you though. Let go of your inhibitions and just have fun and just let loose. She also said life is for living. So she's saying I should forget that she's 24, basically. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. so. I'll take her advice on. So, bro, would you swipe left or right? Right, right. Oh, oh she didn't finish, the, right. she didn't finish the question, I'm man. I'm swiping right. <laughs> so, Nathan, you've just been on your date. Tell me everything. The date was great. Uh, like, the company was absolutely spot on. However, it just was not for me. Your your energy this date was a little bit different. I didn't find anything exciting. I was present though. Yeah. I was very present and I overcompensated. I didn't have fun though. though. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but the you thing like is, depth. Sh even yeah. that going back to icks, being shy is an ick for me. Ooh. Like I am a dominant person, so mm. I need someone who's gonna dominate that. Yeah. If you're shy, that gives me the ick because I'm just like, well, I know for a fine fight I can control you. So would you swipe left or right for Martin? Left. Only because I don't want to waste anyone's time. I'm here to date. I want to find my perfect match. Thanks for listening, everyone. Tune in next time to see if Nathan will find the love of his life. And make sure you listen to us on BBC Sounds. If you enjoyed this episode and want more, you can listen to the full podcast episodes on BBC Sounds now.